We're at Science Gallery in Trinity College Dublin and we're at the Elements Exhibition which is all about the periodic table of elements and all the elements that make up our world. So we have lots of stuff going on, lots of interactives, but what we're going to take a look at is the portraits of the Elements Gallery. This is Mercury. Everybody knows what Mercury looks like. It's the only sort of liquid metal at room temperature, but uh, we just got a pool of it. And that's just a, a speaker we have under it doing a real sort of deep bass note. Yeah, the yellow stuff is sulfur so that if there's a leak, that'll turn black. It's kind of the canary in the coal mine because if you have a mercury spill, that's very, very bad because it's super, super toxic. So we have that in as a sort of warning mechanism. Uh, so we got a piece of gold donated, um, not permanently, obviously, but um, on loan from Gold Corps. And we thought we were getting one ounce, but we got 10 ounces. Um, so as you know, gold is really, really expensive uh, at the moment. It's skyrocketed in price. So that little 10 ounce bar of gold um, is definitely worth over 10,000 euros. I haven't held that piece, no, and I don't think they're probably going to let me. Um, now that it's in the case and secured, I don't think they're going to let anybody take it out. For iron, we have a, an amazing piece of art um, that you can't see. It's just below here, but it's by one of, uh, one of the Britain's leading artists, Anthony Gormley, um, who who's, everybody knows from like, large human statues. But this one is a piece of iron, um, which uh, if you want to see, you're going to have to come and see. But part of the agreement is, as with the piece of art you can't photograph, this we can't, we can't actually show you. But it's, it's a beautiful piece of iron. And if you know iron, it sort of erodes after a while and gets that lovely sort of color to it. So I can only describe it so much. Um, you have to see it yourself. But it's an Anthony Gormley piece that we're really, really excited to have, and probably, probably the most valuable piece uh, we have in the gallery, maybe ever have had. This is a late 19th century piece of wallpaper done by William Morris, um, and it's he used arsenic to get the green color. Um, arsenic has that amazing green color, and before it was known to be really, really toxic, people would use it in a lot of decorative stuff. We can't actually know if he used arsenic in this one, but in lots of his wallpapers, he used arsenic for lots of the detailing you can see, um, just to get that lovely green color. For calcium, we have a human bone, actually a human foot, um, and I'm not often creeped out by what we have in the gallery, but um, this is, this is kind of a, a bit interesting to me, but um, calcium is in your bones, that you need a lot of calcium for your bones, so it's one of the elements that makes us up. Uh, this is a, a diamond ring, so it looks just like a diamond. This is our piece for carbon, uh, but it's not just any diamond ring because we could sort of feature any diamond. This is a synthetic diamond created in the lab out of the uh, ashes uh, from someone's cremation. So it's a man in Florida, um, and there's a company that will do this for you. Take your cremation ashes and make them into a diamond. First time I've ever even heard of it, but it's, uh, it's beautiful. Again, it's one of those um, sort of really odd ways that we're sort of projecting a, a meaning onto one of the elements, even if it's in its most pure form. Um, so it, it looks like a beautiful diamond until you realize that's, that's the remains of a person in a way, and then it takes on a kind of a different significance. You're actually looking through a, um, a silicon wafer disc. This is the disc they make to print chips on for your computer. So it's extremely fragile. If you even get like a fingerprint on that, it's done. And this is uh, silicon. So it's really, really thin, really hard to make. And this is where they dress in those sort of uh, spacesuit looking things to, to hold just so they have it exactly clean when they print uh, on, the, on the chip. These are cobalt blue glasses. If you've ever been, um, if you've ever been walking by the beach and you see some really blue-colored sea glass, especially if it's around an area that had sort of a, an industrial revolution boom, you might be seeing cobalt glass because cobalt glass was used as a dye. You know, before we had artificial dyes, you can make this very easily now without cobalt. But cobalt was the dye that they used. So inside that vacuum bell is a little cylinder, which is exactly one kilogram of platinum. So it's probably, in terms of material, it's probably the most valuable thing we have in the gallery, uh, probably in the region of 40,000 pounds plus. But just that little piece there is so precise. Um, there's a piece just like it, which is actually made of platinum and iridium, which is the international standard for the kilogram. This is a replica, um, but it's still an amazingly valuable and incredible piece because it takes incredible precision to get it to that exact measurement by which all other kilograms 
are measured. Yeah, it's a, it's a cylinder in the middle where all the sort of white buffer things are around it, holding it in place. They don't just mail it to you or courier. We had to send somebody on a plane, get it, and uh, you know, hold the briefcase, carry it on board the plane. Uh, not quite with the sort of handcuff, you know, uh, and bodyguard kind of thing, but um, it did have to be under basically personal escort the whole time. We are not demonstrating a neon light, even though it looks like a neon light and it's called a neon light many times, but this is an argon light. So this is our piece for argon and uh, it reads, this is not a neon sign. Um, because many people think neon signs are all made of neon, but you can actually use argon, xenon, any of the noble gases. I don't know if you can use radon, but um, you probably wouldn't want to anyway. But you can, you can see we have different colors here, but that's just the way the tube is treated. You can also get different colors by mixing the noble gases together. So this is a remnant of the radium craze where people thought it was really good and energizing if you ingested radium. And now that's not true because it kills you, it's terrible for you, um, it's a radioactive element. But what people would do here is take this sort of container, which the, the clay in the mold is made out of radium in it, and people would pour water in and then uh, every day, it, the instructions actually read, fill jar every night, use hydrant or any good water, drink freely when thirsty and upon arising and retiring, average six or more glasses daily. So it's not just a new fad, drink, drink your six or eight glass of water, but this one would have given you radioactive water, so very, very bad for you to drink. Um, but people actually did it because, as you can see, the sign on it says, uh, you know, uh, the revigator, um, and it, you know, revitalizes you and gives you energy. So uh, kind of a sick and weird uh, remnant of our misunderstanding of one of the elements. This is our piece for lead, and it's a, it's a beautiful artistic piece. This artist has unwound a bullet and structured it into this beautifully sort of woven shape. Um, so it's kind of, you know, make art, not war kind of message. That, that's what I take from it. So this piece is a, a, a delicate piece made out of copper. So it's our piece for copper. And as you can see, it's really, really intricate and it's woven. Um, I don't even want to think about how long it took to make. Uh, I'm, standing, I'm standing a bit away because uh, there's a sign that says low level radiation uh, source, please keep 30, 30 centimeters away. Because this is um, a model of a nuclear reactor that's actually made out of uranium glass. So it is a low level uh, radiation source, far below um, what is deemed a, a safe standard. I, I want to see if everybody's running away now. <laughs> but it's not actually glowing green like that, that's lit that way. But it's a beautiful sculpture.